I want to show you how you can get better at art. This is what I did to make my art better over the last two years. So you want to get better at art, huh? You want to be an artist? You want to be an artist? Look at that creep peeking over my shoulder. Staring at the back of my head. There's one thing that will make you a better artist quicker than anything else. When I started doing this one thing, all of my art got better. And I'm going to tell you what it is. It's going to sound super simple, and it is. But it's to get feedback. Sounds super simple, can be very difficult to do. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can get feedback and how you can give yourself feedback so that you can learn quicker. I'm a self-taught artist and I've been learning for the last two years how to make things that I'm happy with. And there's one thing that I've done that I think has improved my art the most out of anything. And it's not the repetition of practice, it's how you practice. And it's how you get feedback. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I get feedback that has helped me to improve my art over the last two years. If you want to get better at art and you want to get better fast, you have to find a way to get feedback. Feedback is the key to improvement. When I was trying to learn perspective, when I was trying to really learn perspective, Whenever I drew a box, I was trying to get feedback on how wrong it was, how off my perspective was, where my vanishing point was, and how I needed to draw my lines. I got better faster by getting feedback on those boxes. Did you see it? Did you see the feedback? The green is the actual line. The blue is what is what I did first. And the red is where I made a mistake. Getting feedback like this, being able to look at the drawing and see what's wrong with it, have a measurement to make made me better at boxes, made me better at perspective, made me better at seeing the angles that I had to have to make things look correct in space. This is just one way that you can practice, is by having something to measure. For this, draw a horizon line, pick two spots on that horizon line, through your vanishing points and then draw a bunch of freehand boxes off of those those vanishing points and then get a ruler and then draw from the vanishing points exactly to where you were trying to make a corner when you do that and especially when you're doing it in different colors on the same page you'll be able to see where you made a mistake what you did wrong how the angle was off if the line was too long, if it was too short, if it was in the wrong place, you can see all of that. You don't need a teacher to show you where you made a mistake every time. You can be your own teacher. With perspective in particular, if you're going to do this, circle where it's wrong. If you know that that corner is wrong, you can do it better in the future. And you can do this with multiple vanishing points. You can do this with mannequins on a horizon line. You can practice it with cylinders. And you can practice it with faces. This is one that I did recently. 
where I double checked my work. And then I went over it again. And I saw where I was wrong. I saw how to fix it. And I did. I drew this twice. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So we're going to open Photoshop. Open the picture that we're referencing. And then we're going to overlay our drawing that we did on top of that reference photo. I'm going to flip between the two of them. You can see how I've tried to line it up as much as possible, lowering the opacity. And these red lines are the correct placement of the features. So you can see where I got them wrong where the eyes are a little too high, the nose is a little too low, the mouth is in about the right spot, but the jaw is a little off. Some of the shadow shapes are a little off. None of this is to say that it is a bad drawing, but the accuracy that I wanted from it is not there. I want to be able to draw accurately with proportions that are accurate to the model that I'm looking at, and this just helps me practice that skill. This is giving me immediate feedback when I am doing a drawing. I am doing this right away. And then I have a picture like I had in the background, where it's two-toned, and the tone on top is all of the corrections. I have other ones that I'll put up here, and these are just a handful of examples. But using the technology that you have at your fingertips will help you to be better. Even if it's just taking a photo of your reference and then of your drawing and being able to flip back and forth on your phone, you will see a lot of the mistakes that you were making in re regard to the proportions and the shadow shapes, in regard to where you're placing things on the face to the size of them in regard to how big you made the head or how small you made it, the width of the neck, the width of the ears, anything like that, you'll be able to get a better understanding when you are able to see things either overlaid or next to each other. This is another drawing where I took a picture and I overlaid it over the reference photo. And this one was done a couple of weeks before the previous one. It's a lot more stiff. The proportions are a little bit more off as far as where things are placed in space, how my angles got off. I'll show you here in just a minute how I think a lot of these things were done poorly. What I could have done better. And it's just the repetition of getting this practice. See, the head's a little too small. The hairline is in the wrong spot. Eyes are in the wrong spot. There's a forward momentum from the head when I drew it more of a leaning back in the actual drawing. Being able to get the feedback to see this will make you better in the future because then you know what you're doing wrong. I hope this has been helpful. 
this has been helpful for me to explain this process and go through it multiple times. You can hit like and subscribe if you're still here. Um, and yeah, there's there's some bloopers coming up if you want want to check that out. And I've put some other videos on the screen that you might want to look at. Thank you. I'm a self-taught artist and I want to help others on their journey to learn art as well. That sounds really bad. Feels weird. Okay. I'm a self-taught. So you want to be an artist? Hmm. You. You want to be an artist? Hmm. You're gonna teach yourself art? Hmm. Got the voice of your boomer dad in the back of your head. Son, you can't do that. Artists don't make a living. <laughs>